Hi, once again, this is Jerry. Today we're going to discuss arrays. And this would be our following objectives for today's lessons. Think array as contiguous memory block with the same data type that can be addressed using its index number. How do we visualize an array? Imagine if we have a wooden cabinet where we store various things. This cabinet is composed of layers where we place, for example, shirts, underwear, wardrobe, etc. As we de convert this into a Java program that we have discussed so far, we declare four string variables to identify the content of each cabinet layer. Instead of declaring four different variables, cabinet 1, cabinet 2, we use just one identifier variable, cabinet. We use a square bracket on the data type to tell the compiler that we are allocating an array identifier. We instantiate it with a new operator declaring the data type of, with its array size. Thus, string cabinet equals new string 4 declares cabinet is an array ab variable with string data type and a size of 4. The number of array index starts with 0. The number of an array index starts with 0, not 1. So, if the last index number of an array is 10, the array size is 11. Identify first array size before using it. On our example, we place 4 at the right side of a de declaration after string data type enclosed in square bracket. To access each element of an array, we use square bracket after the name variable with its index number. So the statements cabinet 0 socks is equal to socks cabinet1 equals underwear, assign value as an element of an array corresponding to this index number. We could use also the following statement as an alternative in declaring and assigning immediately the content of each element. The above statement declares an array cabinet with a string data type. Here we do not need to use the new, op the new operator and declare its size. The compiler will detect automatically the array size for since we have four entries during the declaration and assignment. This is the equivalent of the five statements we have used earlier. Take note of the curly braces you used and terminated still with semicolon at the, at the end. The first value of the array you have entered which is socks, occupies the first element, cabinet 0, and the rest in succeeding manner. Each assignment of the value is separated by comma. Let us have a working Java program that uses an array. Consider the problem. We were going to, cre we're going to create an array-oriented program, array cab cabinet, that mimics the control of a cabinet on its separate compartments. So, just like what we have shown you before, socks, underwear, shirts are assigned separately on each level of the cabinet. We will display the content of the cabinet. And this would be our solution to the problem. The output of the program is, as we ran it, here. The first five lines within the main is the declaration and assignment of the values of the array cabinet. The su succeeding lines display the value of each element of the array. We use while looping statement which validates if we have reached the limit of the array size. As explained previously, we could have another version of the program that produces the same result. Let us run this one. So same out output. Hi, this is Jerry. Thank you for watching this video. If you'd like to see the script or codes of this tutorial, please click the link below. Do visit us on our Facebook 
and Twitter account. Don't forget to hit the like buttons.